Welcome to Hot Ones. As you guys might know, today is Rosh Chodesh. Which means, this, what does that mean, Brian? It's a new month. New month, new Jewish calendar. And we have a lovely guest here to speak to us. How this is gonna work is we are going to eat four different pieces of matzah with four different levels of chili sauce on them. And we're gonna be interviewing Brian as we go. We're gonna be chatting about Rosh Chodesh. We're going to be exploring our Jewish identities. And amazing. Beautiful. Shall we? Absolutely. Which one is this now? This one is our top right. This one here is just our classic extra bloody hot peri peri sauce. So, Mechaim. Mechaim for the matzah. So, we're obviously eating matzah. Can you tell us why we're eating masa? We're eating masa to try to disguise the chili. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming up in the month of Nissan is Pesach, of course. But that's not the only thing that's coming up in the month of Nissan. So can you tell me what other significant dates you know that are in this month? The only one that I know is the first of Nissan. But I'm not aware of any other big dates. So we know Yom HaShoah. Ah. Yeah. Yom HaShoah is one. Mimuna, which, can you explain to us what Mimuna is? The Moroccan Jewish community has a special Mimuna festival for the end of Pesach. And the last one is Yom HaAliyah, um, which is just celebrating Olim and the, the Jews coming into the land of Israel. Now, we're going bottom left. A slice tangle. We're looking at um, extra hot bullseye sauce with Carolina Reaper and black garlic. The black garlic sounds quite It's got a good garlic taste. Caramelized. Not bad. So we were speaking before about Yom HaAliyah. What do you think the relevance of Aliyah even is today? I think having a home where we can go where Purim is normal rather than weird is something that's pretty exciting to have. The spice is <laughs> kicking up now. Amazing. Well, there might be a bit of perspiration starting to kick in. <laughs> For this last one, we decided to up the ante and bought a bunch of Carolina Reapers. So these are the hottest chili in the world. <laughs> um, and Can we're gonna eat them. <laughs> See, the chi it's chili, it's the going in that is easy. It's the coming out that's going to be painful. <laughs> oh um, my on god. On a real note, <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm like actually scared. Oh my god. Um, Please tell my kids that I love them. Please tell my wife that I adore her. And may this end well for both of us. <laughs> Say 20 minutes of this. Cheers. <laughs> the flavour is pretty. It's a bit smoky, it's not too bad so far. Oh, I, I recommend even once, it's too much. I think. Uh. Anyways, on with the interview. Pesach is all about remembrance and memory and like. Where can I find a fire extinguisher? <laughs> so I just wanted to. I don't know what's going on inside there, but seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This is shocking. Oh my God. I recommend even once, it's too much. I think. Uh, uh, tongue nut, that's that. Tongue nut. We're talking about Pesach. We we're talking about Pesach. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and stop crying for a second. That was intense. It's burning me, man. Did you say 20 minutes of this? Yeah. You tell me. <laughs> If we're, we're talking about Pesach Kill, we've just had four different levels of spice. <clears throat> we have to compare each of these chili sauces to one of the four brothers. What do you think we'd say here? I think the last one we had is a child that doesn't know how to ask. Because it's just way too painful. <laughs> I think the mildest one is the evil one. Because it's setting you up for what comes next. Um, which one do we think is a simple one? I like the peri-peri maybe. Yeah, I think so too. And therefore, the fourth one has to be. Uh, looking at today's world, what kind of things do, do you see as plagues? 
without a doubt, it's dividing the world into us and them. Oh. It's where we always decide that the us is better than the them. And whether that's Russia towards Ukraine, whether it's us and the environment, whether it's racism, whether it's sexism, I think that uh, the world sadly has way too many of them. And I'd like to see us learning better. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. What about you? Well, what do I think are plagues? I think that, I don't know, commodification of people, um, commodification of, of feelings and trying to exploit the way that people perceive themselves for, for money. I think lots of, lots of things that are happening in the world are... I'm struggling to use my brain right now to, to <laughs> verbalize why. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, and I hope you enjoyed. I don't know if I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun doing this. Thank you. <laughs>